Hello everyone, my name is Marcel and I will be presenting the paper entitled Classical Planning with Avoid Conditions. This is joint work with Jörg Kaufmann, Alisa Kovtunova and Stefan Borgward. Avoid Conditions are a special case of PDDL3's state trajectory constraints, but instead of restricting the space of plans via a temporal formula, avoid conditions apply to individual states only. This on one hand makes them easier to support from a rhythmic point of view, but on the other hand they are still very much relevant as such conditions naturally pop up in many planning problems. In fact, avoid conditions also appear in various domains of our common IPC benchmark set, while their implicit encodings often lead to unnecessarily complicated definitions of actions and the goal. A prime example for this is the Myconic domain, an elevator benchmark with complex constraints. These constraints are all represented in the precondition of the elevator's stop action. Here I have just shown the first such constraint, which basically requires that passengers can never be boarded at the same time if they belong to different convict classes. As you can see here, it's much more natural to separate this condition from the action description and model it explicitly as a condition to avoid. In this work we investigate how to deal with such conditions if provided explicitly. As base formalism we consider FDR planning. In this context an avoid condition phi becomes a propositional formula over the task's facts. And we are interested in finding phi compliant plans, so plans in which every visited state violates the avoid condition. A state for which such a plan does not exist is called phi unsolvable. To find phi compliant plans we follow two different approaches. Given the avoid condition, it is straightforward to produce an equivalent FDR task in which every plan is phi compliant by construction. The most simple such compilation enforces phi compliance by simply conjoining the negated avoid condition to all preconditions and the goal. However, because of the renormalization of the task that might be required afterwards, this compilation is usually feasible only if the condition is simple. To deal with more complex structures, we therefore also consider two other compilation variants in which the evaluation of the avoid condition is kept separate, at least to some extent, from the rest of the planning task. The first variant is a direct adaption of existing compilations of state trajectory constraints, and in the second variant we make use of PDDL's derived predicate feature. Besides those compilation approaches, we also looked into how to integrate avoid conditions into the planner's engine directly. And the basis for this builds forward heuristic search running on the original task without the avoid condition, where we enforce file compliance by pruning during that search all states that satisfy file. To improve upon the simple baseline, we considered methods to identify Phi unsolvable states that do not, do not satisfy the avoid condition themselves and prune these states as well. To this end, we adapted two well known methods, traps and abstractions. Since the idea of pruning phi unsolvable states is very much related to dead end detection, traps are a natural choice for the advanced prediction. Formally, a trap is a set of non goal states that, once entered, cannot be escaped again. So by design, every state that is contained in some trap must be a dead end. To use this notion in practice, the set of states is represented compactly as a DNF formula, which at the same time enables checking the trap conditions directly on this compact representation. But since traps target dead end detection, their conditions are more strict than required to identify phi unsolvable states. Therefore, a phi trap introduces exceptions to both conditions for states which already satisfy the avoid condition. Even though the modification looks straightforward at first glance, incorporating them into the syntactic checks testable on the compact representation leads to various complications. Well, let's skip over the details here in the paper. We showed that by appropriately initializing the phi trap representation, the original generation and testing methods can be reused almost directly. For our second prediction method, we build upon abstraction heuristics. As abstractions by design over approximate real transition behavior, the abstract state spaces also carry information about phi unsolvable states. Namely, say that an abstract state implies the void condition if all its represented states satisfy phi. Then, once all abstract paths from some state 
go through any such an abstract state, then we know that the state must be phi unsolvable. To guide the construction of the abstraction towards that situation, we follow a counterexample guided abstraction refinement approach. In a nutshell, Sega starts with extracting an abstract solution. If this abstract solution is already a real solution, then the loop terminates. Otherwise, the abstraction is refined by computing a justification why this abstract solution is not a real solution, and then splitting an abstract state accordingly. To integrate the avoid condition into this refinement loop, we apply two changes. First of all, abstract solutions that are that already path through some abstract state that implies the avoid condition are not of interest to us. If all abstract solutions would do this, then we already know that no phi compliant plan exists. The remaining abstract solutions of the phi unsolvable states that are not covered by the abstraction yet must then path through some abstract state that does not sufficiently distinguish between states to avoid from the others. So to refine the abstraction, we introduce an additional refinement condition that ad identifies and splits such abstract states accordingly. To empirically evaluate and compare the different combination and pruning methods, we did experiments in optimal and satisfying planning as well as for proving unsolvability. We collected benchmarks from various sources, including reformulations of standard IBC benchmarks and benchmarks for which we manually designed the avoid conditions and ones for which we set the avoid condition to a learned trap. Here are some results for the satisfying part. As we expected, the combination approaches cannot really hold up to even the simple baseline pruning configuration. Unfortunately, however, our prediction methods could neither really improve over this simple pruning baseline. Coverage was increased in just two domains and also in terms of the actual search reduction, the results look rather mixed. That the prediction methods can pay off can be clearest seen in the unsolvability part. Their search reduction factors of several orders of magnitude are common and this also shows in the coverage results. For future work, we are looking into benchmarks in which the avoid condition plays a more central role than in the ones considered here. And another possible line is the adaption of heuristic functions to take into account the avoid condition. And actually, we already started to go into this direction via the proposed SIGA extension. And that's it from my side. Thanks for listening.